Last week these got soaking wet. I'm trying to record something, but this is my uh, second time taking these out. And this is going to be a more strenuous hike, so this is going to be interesting to hike in sandals, which I've never done. Ah, the bags. In case you're wondering why these bags are smaller, these vaping bags, these are more for like trail runners. Here's a hydration bag, so this is thinner than the usual backpack that we take, which we have 30 something liter backpack. This is seven. This is seven liters, which means the capacity in here is very, very small. And so we can't really stuff a lot of stuff in here. But I was going to get a 12 liter and they, they were all sold out for extended sizes. It's pretty much the extended size of the strap will go a bit longer. So you want to check that out. I think these were about a hundred. Um, about a hundred, I forgot how, how much the 12 liter is. The 12 liter is probably around 150. But the great thing about this is that this thing is extremely light, so basically all we're feeling is the weight from the water on our back, which is much better than what we've been hiking with during the summer, during day hikes with all the massive stuff in our bags. It's mm -hmm. about it, and do my little Mr. Rogers thing and change my shoes. See you in a little bit. There's a bench over by the ski patrol. We can eat that. You scared me, man. Like, what's that coming up from behind me? <laughs> Ski patrol. I was saying there's some benches over there. We could have sat there, but this is fine too. At least we have that as a backdrop as we're eating the watch. I mean to look at. Okay. Time for some grub. A little drizzle coming down. So, what do we have today? Um, monster cheese and turkey sandwich. Yum. This be made tuna. Yes. Yep. Good stuff. We found this one time we were traveling. Well, not this one. This is Bumblebee, right? Yes. Star Kiss has a whole thing and you make it all up together. It has like a little tray you can make that in there. Uh, so you can put as much mayo or whatever you want in it. And we found that traveling one day at a gas station. So we used to stock up on it and take it for hikes like this if we knew it was going to be a long time before we got back to the car. Um, and it's good because sometimes you can just grab that if we don't have a sandwich or anything else. We'll, we'll pull some of these things out. So this one was left over. We had like a couple of boxes of these. And one day she was hanging out, I guess, with her sister or something. She went somewhere. And so I ate one of those. So now that's why we only have one left. So today, since we have something in the car, the point was we're going to share this, eat the sandwich, which is half a sandwich, it's this, but it's filled with all sorts of stuff. And um, that's it. Get back to the car. And uh, yeah, so... How was the hike today? Yeah, first time in a long time you've taken a big long hike like this. Um, it wasn't gross and hot the last time. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about your pants. Your shorts. How were the hiking shorts? Uh, good. On his maiden voyage. Good job. Answer and put the tuna in your mouth. <laughs> Ah. They're soft. Um, 
I mean, they're right up a little in the middle, but it's not like uncomfortable. So that looks good. All right. And they fit well. Yeah, just like those hiking pants. And they have good pockets. Lots of pockets. You ladies know about every time you buy pants, there are no pockets. None. None at all. None. She had a pocket knife, and I had to get her a smaller one because the other one didn't fit in her pocket. <laughs> what else can I say? Oh, it's like the other hiking pants. It's like it, it, it really does change you not having something all that tight and, you know, just bugging you in your pants. Okay. Yes. Yeah, it's good to have something, like I said, traveling in with fabric and... Do some of these clothes cost a lot of money? I think the shorts were close to $60 or something like that. Um, her hiking pants were a pretty penny. So was mine. But it's not something that you're going to use and throw away. It's something you're going to use every time you go out. Especially if you're going all the time. We first started. I don't think we ever went out in jeans. I've seen people make that mistake. I'm like, how are you hiking in jeans? That is extremely gross. <laughs> They get heavy, and let me tell you something, about an hour into a hike, especially a strenuous hike, mm -mm, you're going to die. Okay, it's raining, and it's getting all over my phone, so that's it for now. Yes. Okay, bye-bye. Down the other side of the mountain. Lunch is over there. A lot of pine cones. See? All over the place. Okay, she's leaving. Okay, that rain's starting to come down now. The other thing I, hike, I hate more than summer hiking, although you get to hike without a bunch of clothes on, is rain. I will hike in any weather, storm, freezing cold, anything, but I hate hiking in rain. My glasses get all wet, everything just gets kind of soggy, and when you're already hot and sweaty, it just makes it feel icky. So, yeah. But, it is what it is. You can't always hike out with great weather with sunshine. It's just not the way life works. But, if I can avoid it, I will. And I didn't think it was gonna, I didn't think it was gonna rain today. I thought it was just going to be cloudy. But I guess New Jersey decided, not today. Okay, which way we're we going? This way. You sure want to go that way? Last time we came here. What happened? I said I'm going back this way last time we came here. Are you sure? Then we had to get up, that's what, when we were with your brother, and we had no, to go back to the red? Okay, sure you want to go down this way? Yes, sure. Sure? Yeah, sure? 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 Yes? Yes. No? Okay, we're going that way. Let's go. Yeah. Um, I don't know about this. They got some witchcraft going up in here at night. Or have any of you ever seen the TV show Outlander? Where they go out there where the rocks are and disappear? back in time to Scotland. Okay, just me? All right. Down, down, down we go. Oh. 
Um, but yeah, my hair looks worse, but not horrible. Um, okay, so I figured something out from, excuse me while I walk down some rocks real quick. Um, I figured something out. I'm trying to carry my camera. Um, the one that I usually record on, but today it just was not working out. It was dying. So, stuck with my phone a lot today. Um, but a little life hack, trail hack for you. If you get tired of carrying it, um, I had it over my arm at one point, but if you get tired of carrying it, like I do, around this part of your neck, you can put it around your neck and around your shoulder, so then it's like right there, and it feels a lot better. So, just thought I'd let you guys know. The couple behind us. She had bells on her. That's not why I started this, but I had stopped to fix the camera and it ran into them. Hold on, let me show you. Wait a sec, I'll get back to them. Okay. We went down, went up. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you dizzy, but here we go. This is the blue trail heading back to the car in the parking lot. Ugh. Hey, you heard the bird? It's not good. Why, thank you. See? Did you not hear that? All right. Another down tree. Wow, this one is huge. That cracked back there. See that? That was no baby tree. Can't tell that was lightning because if you look at it, it still looks very, very much alive, but maybe not since the other part looks dead. But yeah. That is all across the trail. At least the top of the tree is. Ouch. Huh? What? Shoot. leaves just got in the middle of my sandals. You said the ground's wet? Yes, I see it as wet. Like the wet rocks. Thank you. Your bag's open. Wow, I did that whole thing and did not press record. So I was saying, we're about to go around the mulberry bush, around the mulberry bush, all the way around on this blue trail to get off of there. And you can't really see what I was trying to show you is that that's a, that's a drop right off along this trail. Anyway, so I was about to, I was telling the story about the couple and he's, yeah. Let me face this way. So he, the guy was coming down, I heard these bells just ringing, like sleigh bells, and ting a ling a ling I said, yeah, we can hear you. And so the three of us started laughing, and it comes down. 
seeing this, they, they saw some bears on the yellow trail, and his wife had the bells on, it was ringing. I said, oh, so they, they heard it and left? And he said, yeah, they heard it and probably thought it was dinner. <laughs> so they kept on going, of course. They wished us a great hike. I said the same thing. As I said, people out here, when we've always had great encounters. Um, I can't speak for, <laughs> for everybody else, but we have had pretty much decent encounters all the time. Not decent. We've had great encounters with people all the time, except for that one woman at that desk in Tennessee, uh, uh, Smoky Mountain. That's the only one. You, whoever you are, you know your name. You know your name, evil woman. Anyway, let's go this way. Okay, guys. Um, I'm sure he's recording us too. But, hold on, let me switch. Down in there is where we have to go. We're gonna come all right here. All the way down. Down there. Also, do you guys like how much I've been talking in this video? You know? Um, I, uh, I don't talk a lot, but you know, now, now you're getting all this commentary. Isn't it great? That tree is downhill for me about 25 feet. So all that is way down there. Again, you can't really see things um, on video and pictures. The scale of the stuff. What are you doing? all the way down there. See them feet? Yeah, that's steep. So yeah, uh, we just met these two ladies. What a dog going up. And um, as I was going to come down, I showed you how she was going down the steep hill. As you can see, it's up there behind me. I was going to record it, but I'm not that type of person on Facebook anywhere else where I am going to risk my life to get you a great shot that's not going to happen there will be some things I will do 
to let people experience this, but I'm not going to break my neck. It's not worth that to you. Well, what do you care? You just didn't watch it. But yeah, and that really hurt my knees as it was twisting around, so I had to stop. And she's way down there waiting for me. Yeah, all the bugs are on the at the bottom of this stupid building thing. Huh? We're still going downhill. You see the opening? We gotta go down. Why don't you? Yeah. We just came from up there. Well, you can't see up there. Anyway, the first time we ever saw bears were right here in this direction going down to the car. And they were right over there somewhere. A little family. And we were walking. They weren't that far. But maybe about as far as that tree was. Right there, a little, just a little bit further. And uh, we were walking by and they, we stopped. One stop, looked at us. And then it just kept on going. It was kind of cool. A first bear encounter. They were black bears. Um, not grizzly and not brown bears. Black bears are pretty common here in the Northeast. And I think we've heard the, 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 the tallest the adult is, is five feet. Five feet something. Was it five feet five? Five feet whatever? Yeah, pretty much about her height. She's five three. Speaking of first encounters, speaking of first encounters, yesterday we drove past Andrew Yang. Oh, that guy. I'm at a bodega. Nah, bro. <laughs> I haven't found a bodega. No. If you do not see Goya products on the shelves. And a cat. Then you are not at a bodega. Oh, plus the 50 cent trips and maybe quarter waters but also 50 cent sodas which I used to get in middle school not good yeah. politicians are ridiculous they'll say anything to get you to believe that they understand about you and where you are and you know any of us who live in New York City know what a corner store looks like we know what a bodega looks like yep. and it was not where he was he was at one of those uh what we call those gourmet places that have all yeah. those fancy food food and a little salad bar. And he bought like some bananas and water or something like that. Yeah, the closest you're going to get to 
a, bo uh, a salad bar and a bodega is a mixed one is a banana and a little shelf where they got some lunch meat yes there you go that's your salad bar brother unless they put some salad I mean, some stuff <laughs> unless they put some lettuce on your sandwich yeah anyway the guys are he's a knucklehead anyway but whatever so that was her first brush with greatness as Dave Letterman used to have little segment he had the, the brush with greatness yes I mean listen okay when I was younger right we were going to Jamaica and okay so there's a show called Heroes and if you watch oh actually it, yeah that was your first time yes well you knew him from Heroes I knew him from my wife and kids I believe it was the guy that played yes I do remember him being that but the guy he's now a grown adult but the guy who played um, Micah on Heroes was at the airport <laughs> and so we took a picture with him and I think we have a physical picture yes we do yes um, and then when I got a little bit older one of my sisters told me um, that she what was it I forget if it was Dylan or Cole anyway Dylan and Cole Sprouse one of the twins she walked past them because they went to school in her vicinity where she was like working or something like that and so in the city she I'm just like this is not fair guys um, I'm the only one who hasn't had an experience like this but you know I count driving past in the car so. Andrew Yang and you were at the party when I went when I used to work at the board you saw all the politicians at that dinner Talking the local guys, talking whatever, trying to get you to give some money to them. But anyway, that's life. That's how something goes. Da 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 da. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna fall. Why you switch? Oh, I see why you switch sides. Whoa. Get your head out my shot. Huh. You okay? Just stop. We're still going all the way down. Yeah. You can't tell that's up.
it was two chipmunks. Oh well. I tried to get them. They're gone, right? What? <laughs> oh. Won't be long now. That's what we started, right? No. Huh? We started back that way. What way? Back that way. We came across. In case you were curious, the trash was in my pack when we we're done eating. And now, go ahead. Show me what I'm always talking about. You carry in. Do the trash can. Put it in the trash can. Wow. Isn't that easy? Good job, everybody. Can't tell you how many times, man, people do not respect the trail and nature. And the camera's not pointed at me. Do not respect it. They don't clean up after themselves. You know, most people who are in the outdoors, whether you're overland camping, hiking, backpacking, whatever else, we tend to clean up everybody else's trash so that people can enjoy it. And um, you brought it in, just take it out with you. It's not that hard and it's very, very simple. And it's really easy to do. That's enough of my seminar today. Thank you for joining me at my TED Talk. TED Talk? Over the hill and through the woods to Grandma's house we go. What? Into the woods. Into the woods. Yeah. Into the woods. Oh. You don't remember that? No. Some sort of lodge back there that's never been open all the years we've been coming here. Don't be falling. Here we are. I meant to drink water. So I'll wait till I get back over to Crosser Street. Speaking of crossing the street. Look both ways before you cross the street. We did. We did.
our trusty steed. See? Rain. Nice job, hit the head. After hike restoration. That, this, and my battery's at 14%, so that's about to cut off, but yeah. A little soap and water. I don't know if that's in the camera shot or not, but. Good friends, great flavors, awesome. Take off the sweaty shirt and then we drop first. Because you got the double sized bottle. Uh, I need your help with this water. I was talking about the soap, so I want them to see about the soap and the water. You know you're too close, right? Right there was five. How you got two? <laughs> you know we have paper towels, right? Wait, it's too late now. Okay. Really? I feel so sticky. Come on. That's fine. For you, general. 
Well, my battery died, so it's plugging up. And she is cleaning out the glove box, which we haven't cleaned in a while. I've been meaning to do inventory in here and make sure we have everything we need. When to do it before that trip that we had, and that didn't happen. So she's working on that. And I am going to go and uh, heat up some water for the food. Here we have this. Here, boiling up some water for the food. Um, I would have put it in the back of the car, but I that doesn't sound too safe to me. And I didn't have the table. That's why we have it sit on the floor in between the cars. Um, actually, puddle jumpers there. Another car way over there. And of course, near the tree, where it's bugs and fall. But um, yes, I don't have the table, so it's sitting right there. It looks like it's getting a moving. We're gonna try something new. I don't usually recommend trying new food. We like the company, and. Uh, so we're going with another mountain house meal, and this is probably backwards on the thing, right? It says pad thai with chicken. Pad thai with chicken. Uh, and if I remember correctly, rice noodles with chicken, chicken white meat. With chicken white meat. And uh, vegetables. One of our children. One of our one of our children. One of my daughters and her sister is always you eating a space meal. Eat my, mm -hmm. They don't know. Like we said before, that family gets out there where we go camping and they're struggling. We just pull us out and we eat <laughs> and we can get back to work. Anyway, so this is one of their new flavors. We tried a new flavor um, when we were backpacking. That wasn't so good. No. That was disgusting. It, it was, like it tasted, <laughs> she said it tastes like mustard. It was some sort of a uh, yellow curry... It was supposed to be curry, right? Some yellow curry chicken. Yeah. It was it was just disgusting. Guess what? All that didn't get recorded. So we pressed and we did and then we put the water. We pour the and, water in there and, and now we got food. In like five minutes. Uh ten minutes. Five. Ten. Okay, ten because you have to wait another four after you stir it again. Yeah. Which you never do. I went through all of that to set up the shot for the stupid food and forgot to press the button. Well, actually, I did press it. It didn't go down. <sighs> We've been doing this forever, and then we'll be... And the survey says... It's good. It's good. Mountain House does it again. Okay. It's time for me to go get some food and to eat. We have this. Whoa, almost fell. An orange. Mmm. Yum. And lots of water. I am uh, very drained. I don't know about you. How are you feeling? So it's time to get the electrolytes back in and get some food before we head out. And I hear... Thunder booming. Okay. Well, we that was fun. We finished that. Unfortunately, all the batteries from every camera died. So we didn't get a chance to end the way we would normally end. So uh, we hope you enjoyed that hike and going with us. And uh, yeah, hope it was enjoyable for you. If not, then think about how unenjoyable it was for us to be hiking out there in the heat and, and the sweat rain. and then the rain. So you were lucky that you were only sitting at home or in your car, or wherever you're watching this at, watching this trip. So um, we get out of here and I hope, like I said, Thanks for our, just taking a ride with us. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you right here next time on the, the White Bear TK Experience. Experience.
Good morning, folks. I zoomed out, don't worry.